is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Story Girls. And today we're doing something a little bit different than what we normally do. We're going to do a thrift flip for you guys. So we are going to go into our favorite thrift store and find something for under $10. And we're going to totally transform it for you guys. Stay tuned because we don't know what it is. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But hopefully it turns out good and it doesn't cost us a lot. And we're excited to inspire you guys. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's Oh my gosh. I want this. It's mine. It is now mine. Hi. Okay, so what we ended up getting was this tray, which is like totally an old like vintage breakfast in bed tray. Super actually practical and I could use one of these for like a laptop stand or when you know, the BF brings me breakfast in bed. <laughs> Which happens so often. Never. And then we also found this random pineapple decor piece that you can store things in, but like, we love it and we're just Ugh. gonna leave it the way it is because it's awesome. Ugh. But um, we were feeling very inspired by this pineapple, thinking some like beachy vibes, so we're gonna transform this stand for you and turn it into something super chic. All right, let's go see what we can do. All right, let's do it. So we think we want to do a gold and green theme, gold on the back, green on the front. Um, but we want to prime it first so that the paint sticks. So we're going to head outside and give it a coat of primer on the front and back. So once our tray is all primed and ready, we are going to do a forest green on the top and a gold on the bottom. So we're going to go outside with our green spray paint and our gold spray paint and give it a coat. So now our tray is nice and painted. It's green on the one side and gold on the other side, looking really good. Um, so like we mentioned before, we're kind of wanting to do like a pineapple thing because pineapples are really cool. And that's the only reason we need. <laughs> so we have this awesome machine called a Silhouette, um, which what it does is it like laser cuts out uh, images. So we use this kind of gold foil like sticker paper to cut out these pineapples. So if you don't have this machine, don't worry, you don't really need it. You could totally use an exacto knife and cut out your own pattern or just get awesome stickers or just use a stencil and some gold paint, whatever you're feeling. So we're gonna use these kind of handmade gold pineapple stickers and use them as a pattern on our tray. So I'm just laying them out to see how spaced I want them to be. So again, I'm just gonna push down the middle pieces that I want to stick because the rest is going to be peeled off. I just want to make something with this because it's so pretty. I just want to like put this on my wall. Mm -hmm. So while it is pretty tedious, it obviously is turning out amazing and we're very excited. So we're just going to repeat this whole pineapple stickering process until we have a nice beautiful gold pineapple pattern. So we have all our pineapples done, but obviously some of them kind of go off the edge because we're making a bigger pattern, so we're just going to cut off any extra little bits. So we have our amazing pineapple design on our tray now. It's pretty much all done. What we're going to do now is just take this, which is a like clear, shiny sealer coat of spray paint, and just go over everything a couple times to lock it all into place, and then it's done. Um, we're really happy with how it turned out, and we uh, thought this video was really fun. We think that we totally took this like 60s tray that was what, like, how much was it? Like $2.99. $2.99. And it looks so expensive now. We keep thinking that this is very like Urban Outfitters y. Yeah, like Urban Outfitters. Do you sell this though? Probably is my guess. Uh, yeah, so we're super stoked to have this as home decor, and we hope that this inspired you in some way to go into a thrift store and see things in like a new way. And if you guys do like this series, make sure you let us know in the comments below because we are thinking about doing this again. So if you liked it, let us know, and um, yeah, give us some suggestions like a theme you want mm -hmm. us to do. 
We, we can go places with this, guys. I know, I love, like it was really fun. I would love to do this again. So hopefully you guys liked it as well. And another thing is you guys should make sure you're following us on our new Sorry Girls Instagram. At the Sorry Girls DIY. <laughs> I don't know why it took us so long to just do this. We had our own personal Instagrams like forever. And we just kind of kept it that way. But we kind of realized that we really wanted like a nice, the Sorry Girls official one that was very like, Curated Beautiful and which is nice yeah. artsy pictures of the stuff that we make so make sure you go follow that right now because we would love to see you there Yes, and um, You'll see this guy over there too, and if you guys ever want to tag us in anything um, That you make on Instagram and you don't want to do our personal accounts you can now take this account Yes at the story girls DIY so much easier before you guys are tagging both of us And mm -hmm. I'm like I feel so bad because it's like two of us, and I know it's so annoying <laughs> Exactly, so hope to see you guys over there as well. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you like it, like it, and if you love it, sub it. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.